Good morning, TK. Welcome back to Family Feud. Today we have with us Mrs. Ramirez's home group participating in the Family Feud. So Caroline McCormick and Laura Kim are set to play. Caroline, so why don't you come up and join me here? <laughs> All right, so you know how this works. I'm going to ask you five questions and you'll try to give me the most popular answer. You'll have 20 seconds on the clock to answer. Then I'm going to ask your partner the same five questions, and you guys will try to get over 200 combined points to win the game and donuts for your home group. Does this sound good? Okay. All right, now before we start, why don't we take a look at your partner outside? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's begin. So the clock will start after I finish reading the first question. Okay, ready? Okay. All right. Name something you have to buy when throwing a 4th of July party. Um, hot dogs. Tell me the longest you've ever gone without eating. Uh, 10 hours. Name something to keep sheets of paper together. Paperclip. Name someone you stand up for when they enter a room. Uh, the president. Name someone people call when they're in trouble. Mom. All right. <laughs> okay. So we'll go to the commercials and then we'll be back to see how you did after this. Go deep. Out of the park. Don't miss Athlete Coach Stein Day in the TKA Gym at lunch this Thursday, April 14th. As we honor our student athletes who have signed to play sports coach, coach at the collegiate level next year. Jared Folkowski, Paul Makowitz, Chris McIntyre, and Dante Pulaselli. To all NHS members, both current and new, tonight at 7 p.m., there will be an induction ceremony located in the theater. All parents and students are invited to welcome the new members into TKA's chapter of NHS. Are you interested in being a class officer or a student council member for next year? Applications are currently available in the Spiritual Life Hallway, and they will be due on Wednesday, April 20th. If you have any questions, please talk to Mrs. Nieves for class officers or Mrs. Misson or Mr. Berry for a student council. If you are going to be a junior or a senior and you are interested in being part of the yearbook team next year, pick up an application in the SAO or from Mrs. Mata in K4. Applications are due on Monday, April 11th. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Mata during brunch on Mondays, Tuesdays, or Wednesdays. To all TK students and parents, any students who are ill must be free of all symptoms for 24 hours before being allowed to return to school. And please remember to wash your hands before eating and after having used the restrooms. Are you interested in taking a technology class but haven't yet fulfilled the Discovering Computers prerequisite? Any student going into grades 7 through 12 can sign up to take the technology proficiency exam. By passing this exam, you will have fulfilled the prerequisite and may sign up for any technology course which requires it. Testing dates will be Thursday, March 10th at 3 p.m., Friday, April 15th at 3 p.m., Saturday, May 21st at 9 a.m., and Wednesday, June 8th at 3.30 p.m. Please note that there are four classes that do not have a prerequisite, which are AP Computer Science Principles, Broadcasting, Technical Theater, and Yearbook. You can sign up for the exam online at tinyurl.com slash 2016tkatechexam. Alright, so sorry about that, but the very last question um, was actually wrong, so I'm going to ask you a different question for the very end. Alright, so you ready? Okay. Name an occupation that most people think is glamorous, but in reality is probably not. Um, doctor. Alright, there we go. So, we're going to put that in and then we will see how you did. Alright. So name something you can you have to buy when tra um, when throwing a Fourth of July party. You said hot dogs. Survey says five points. Good job. All right. Tell me the longest you've ever gone without showering. You said eating. 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 <laughs> eating. You said ten hours. Survey says six points. All right. Great job. Um, name something to keep sheets of paper together, you said. Paper clips, survey says. 48 okay. points. Great job. Okay, good. good job. <laughs> All right, name someone you stand up for when they enter a room, you said. President, survey says. Good answer. Good answer. 25, great job. All right, and then name an occupation that most people think is glamorous, but in reality isn't, you said. Doctor, survey says. Zero no. points. Okay. Oh, well, you did a great job. So why don't we bring in your partner, Lauren, see how she does. Yay. All righty. 
So, are you ready? Yeah. Um, so your partner got, she got a total of 84 points. So you're doing good. You need 200 to win. And I'm going to ask you the same five questions. And you'll have 25 seconds on the clock this time. So the time will begin when I read the first question. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Name something you have to buy when throwing a 4th of July party. Uh, hamburgers, patties. Tell me the <laughs> longest you've gone without, sh without eating. A day? Name something to keep sheets of paper together. Paperclip. Another answer? Uh, rubber band. Name someone you stand up for when they enter a room. Uh, president. Uh, another answer? Uh, bride. Name an occupation that most people think is glamorous, but in reality isn't. Movie star? All right, we'll take it. Movie star. Thank you. All right. So why don't we go to this commercial break, and we'll see how you did. Okay. Hey, students. The SAO would like to remind you to lock your lockers, as per the guideline in the TKA Student Parent Handbook. You are responsible for your personal property, so be sure to keep your valuables safe. If you are late to school, please remember to stop by the SAO for a tardy slip to present to your teacher. All day absences due to sickness or trips, late arrivals or early dismissals, and appointments require a phone call to the attendance line 408-481-0150. Hey TK, Student Store would like to remind you to be careful with the school's equipment, especially vending machines. That means, please don't insert inappropriate items into the coin slots, including pennies and nuts. Seriously? Furthermore, don't shake or climb on the vending machine. Remember to keep this in mind to keep them operational. If you are interested in reaching the nightly news with questions, comments, suggestions, or technical difficulties, or if you would like to submit something for broadcast, please email us directly at nightly.news at tka.org or cc us when sending an email to announcements at tka.org. Please take note of these following guidelines when submitting a request. Take note that only student club leaders and teachers can email the nightly news. Videos for the broadcast must be submitted at least a week before. Thus, please make sure to plan accordingly. Also, we are only accepting files.mp4 or .mov. That means that we are no longer accepting DVDs, and if you still have VHS, well, please enter the 21st century. Thank you for your continued viewer support. All right, welcome back. So before we see how Laura did, why don't we check in with your home group? <laughs> All right, so why don't we first put up your partner's answer to see how she did. All right, so for the first question, name something you have to buy when throwing a 4th of July party. You said, hamburgers, survey says, zero points. Number one answer was fireworks or firecrackers. So tell me the longest you've ever gone without eating. You said, 24 hours, survey says. 34 points, great job. That was the number one answer. Um, name something to keep sheets of paper together, you said. Rubber band, survey says. Zero, number one answer was paper clips. Um, so name someone you stand up for when they enter a room, you said. Bride, survey says. 21 points. Number one answer was president. So name someone, uh, name an occupation that most people think is glamorous, but in reality isn't, you said. Movie star, survey says. 21 points. You guys were so close. Number one answer for that was model. So thank you guys both so much for coming. Um, and then we'll see everybody next week. Yeah, for another episode of Family Feud. Great job, guys. You're great. All right. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>